Today I'm going to show you the new features that you can unlock via in-app purchase in Snowflake Remote 2. These are features that have been added on top of the original Snowflake Remote 1, so uh, this might be interesting even if you've used that in the past. I'm going to start by showing you my setup. I have a 55-inch Clever Touch screen and an iPhone 6. So I'm going to launch the remote and then we're going to go into screen recording mode because that is less shaky. So what you're seeing here is mainly Snowflake Remote running on the iPhone and in the bottom left you're seeing the screen running Snowflake. As you can see in the About dialog, this is 2.0, so if 2.1 is out by the time you're seeing this it might have changed a little. Down the bottom you see Manual, where you can manually enter in an IP address to connect to, or Automatic, where you can just pick a computer running Snowflake on this network that has been detected. My computer was detected automatically so I'm just going to pick it. So here's the main interface, you can swipe around and uh, it's exactly like interacting with Snowflake on the actual screen. So you can see it's really responsive and there are no limitations on what you can do. Anything you can do in Snowflake you can also do from the mobile device. And you can even connect several mobile devices to the same computer running Snowflake and um, for example collaborate on a whiteboard or you could collaborate on doing annotations in the annotates and you could do all kinds of things together. And if your bandwidth is good enough, you can even play like high intensity action games like Deflector or Bugs. Um, casual games are no problem. You can do internet browsing remotely or watch YouTube videos, do maps. Um, and it's full multi-touch. You get as many touch points as your device supports. For the iPhone, I think it is five. Um, and for the iPad, it is six or seven. So as you can see, Snowflake Remote 2 is a really powerful tool for collaboration, for presentations, for training, for any situation where you would want to control a screen that is interactive or non-interactive with a mobile device.